اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الرحمن علم القرآن خلق الانسان علمه البیان صدق اللہ العظیم ربش رحلی صدری و یسر لی عمری وحل العقدت من لسان یفقہ قولی Respected viewers and listeners, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. The ayah which I have read is from Surah Ar-Rahman, meaning the merciful God. Chapter 55, verse 1 to 4. Ar-Rahman, the merciful God, Allam al-Quran, has taught you Quran. Khalaq al-Insan has created you as a human beings. Allamahul Bayan and has taught you the use of utterance. Today the topic is what is the difference between animals and humans? This is very important question. Question to ponder, question to induce and deduce. What really is the difference? between animals and humans you have to understand one thing Allah in the Quran has given you a nutshell explanation that what really is the difference between animals and humans and this today's of my topic is also the sledgehammer to the atheism, agnosticism and skepticism. Without wasting further time, let me come to the subject that what really is the difference. If we talk on the spiritual matters, there is a hadith of Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, where he said, one of the Sahaba, one of the disciples of Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him inquired about the difference between animals and humans. So Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him replied to him, one of the disciples, the difference between animals and humans, that animals live for themselves, whereas humans live for others. SubhanAllah, we human beings, we are obligated to live for others. We have two kinds of society, introverts, extroverts. Both should be dealing with the humanity, vice versa. Humans cannot live for themselves. They have to live for others. Otherwise, there is no difference between them and us. This is the nutshell explanation as pertaining to Prophet Muhammad hadith. Now, let us come to the point why I read those ayah, those verses. You see, the nearest animal like which you can compare to human beings are chimps, chimpanzees. Because that's the animal which is the most intelligent as compared to other mammals in the matter of ingenuity, meaning genius, intelligent. Human beings are created from the beginning, individual species. I challenge all these atheistic giants that show us any connection or bands about human beings that they came from someone or some other species and changed into another form. Never. You never find it. All these are theories, hypotheses, but on the factual grounds, you will never be able to find these kind of things. Speculative data is there. Speculative datum is there, but on the grounds of certainty, you will never be able to find yet. All the species 
all the species you find in fossils you find on those things remote places or in the african continent the oldest species we ever found whatever but you will never be able to coop up or bridge the connection that these people may come or these people really come from this no even the early humanoids to call them humanoids means human like not humans so the question remains what really is the difference between humans and animals Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in Surah Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahman the merciful God Khalaq al-Insan has created human beings this homo sapiens intelligent beings Ar-Rahman allam al-Quran Rahman the merciful God has revealed you the book Quran Quran named itself Khalaq al-Insan has created you human beings homo sapiens the intelligent creatures allamahu al-bayan and has taught you the use of utterance the power of speaking how many revolutions have come in the past because of the fiery speeches of those rulers either you take them as tyrants or you take them as real people whatsoever from scholastic point of views from any point of view the biggest revolution came in the history because of the use of utterance the more sublime speaker you will see the more greater or the greatest revolutionist or revolution you brought or you bring why because the use of ut- utterance hitler's fiery speeches you know what happened you know all those history of communism and socialism this nazi party was developed why because of those fiery speeches tantalizes millions mesmerized millions brainwashed and programmed millions and then you follow them so this is the difference we call it hewane natiq animals who are able to express that is the difference between animals and us let me elaborate further chimps or chimpanzees no matter how hard you tame them train them educate them they will never be able to express themselves from their tongues that is the difference allah says that i have taught you the use of utterance the biggest power the humans have this is utterance does not mean the tongue and you speak no utterance means the power and potential ability to express yourself humans can study chimpanzees but chimpanzees cannot study humans you know these people they these postulators of atheistic thoughts and thinking and then they postulate and expound these all things that humans came from this and that you see how many millions years and how many thousand years chimps are there what did they achieve what did they learn nothing people did experiments they put a child and a chimps baby and then they all they raised together what they learned that baby is adopting chimp baby is adopting chimp but chimp is not adopting baby what does it mean that human has instinct and the quality to copy chimps because they have extra brain but chimps were failed or chimps was failed to copy that baby's intelligence or movement they did this experiment this physical experiment so hence what is proved it proved that babies that humans they are different species and these chimps how hard you put them in a narrow situation of learning of human qualities they will be still remains animals who cannot express but insan humans are made to express themselves that is the quite big difference between animals and us hadith i quoted you prophet muhammad peace be upon him said the difference between us and them that we live for others and animals live for themselves that is the different difference now apply this test apply this test second miracle of god almighty in surah rom 
Room or Rome, chapter 30, verse 20 to onwards. Allah says, Women ayatihi amongst his signs and the wonder that the differences in your faces, the color, the tongues, and all these things are the miracles of God. You see, if you bring three chimps or chimpanzees in one room, you will hardly be able to recognize amongst them that who is who. Why? Because all of them are carrying same faces. Allah says in the Quran that the miracle, my miracle is that the changes, the variances in your color and the faces and the tongues is my miracle. And this miracle proves that humans are different species, extraordinary species, which Allah says that Ashraful Makhluqat, the created among the creation on this earth, the best form are the human beings. Study yourself. Allah says, I will show signs on the horizons in front of you and within your own self. And then your heart will testify that this is Al-Haq, meaning truth. The Quran is Al-Haq. Surah Fusila, chapter 41, verse 57, the last verse. The test is given. Now this test, if you apply, you will be able to recognize, look at these, you know, sophisticated machine Allah has created, human beings. Look your own physiology, look in your own anatomy, you will be flabbergasted. Why? Why this all? Why there is something in us which we are able to study, which other animals don't carry? Why? Because this is the purpose of Allah. Creator knows what He has created. He has created humans in the best form. And then He sent the guidance. Whatsoever you follow the particular prophet at his time, you have to follow him for the guidance. Animals, that's in another kingdom. Humans, another species. But today, unfortunately, these giants of literature, they're unable to answer these questions. Answer, show any link of DNA structure, any link in chromosomes, which proves that we are converted forms of those previous humans like people. Never. We will be always be able to, we always be able to confirm that this human being, Adam, Bani Adam or Homo sapiens are exclusively different entity. They will never be able to coop or join, you know, to bridge them together to prove all speculative data is there, all speculative data. And then making things after theories and confusing droves after droves of university students. And those poor university students have no sense of anything. That think, think, have you ever researched about these things? Never. Because of lack of knowledge. I am speaking right now. This power is given to me from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He created all human beings with the expression tongue. That is why Allah says in the Quran, all these five senses which you are able to sense about anything will be accountable on the day of judgment. But animals do not. Do not only human beings because we have consciousness. Consciousness means the ability or awareness, acknowledgement of doing right and wrong. Animals don't carry that. And from where you got this? From the heavens, from up, from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the guidance, revealed knowledge. Revealed knowledge make us capable of doing all these things. So once you close your eyes of revealed knowledge, you become an act like animal. Haywan, Allah says Surah Hashar, when you forget my warning, I make you forget your own selves. What is forgetting your own self? Your self-conscious level, meaning ability or awareness of doing right and wrong, it's gone. Once it's gone, you will act like animals, like brutes. So this is the difference. I hope I made this clip very clear. That may Allah open the eyes of those people who are agnostic, atheist, atheist, or falling into the mire and the gutter of this all, you know, uh, social circle of these people. They are unable to answer. They have, you know, necklaces of words, researches. You know, another guy said this, another guy. They will give you so many researches and postulated theories, but they will never be able to answer one simple, solid question. Where do we come from? Where do we come from? Tell us our origins. If you do not know our origins, why the hell you are telling us we came from the apes 
وآخر الدعوان عن الحمد لله رب العالمين